students now we continue with chapter 11 constructions exercise 11.2 part 2 so in question number 1 and 2 we have drawn the tangents now question 3 draw a circle of radius 3 cm take two points p and q on one of its extended diameter each at a distance of 7 cm from its center and draw tangents to the circle from this two points p and q so here in this figure i have a circle whose center is o and radius 3 cm ab is the diameter of the circle 6 cm and p is a point on its extended diameter such that op is 7 cm similarly q is another point on its extended diameter such that oq is 7 cm i have to draw the tangents from p and q on the given circle so as we have discussed in the previous questions i have to draw the tangents from p to this circle so first of all i will draw perpendicular bisector of op perpendicular bisector of op by open the radius more than half and in this way i will get the midpoint let l is mid of op with l as center and radius ol draw a circle passing through o and p and this circle intersects the previous circle at t and s now we will join pt and ps now we join pt and ps and which are the required tangents so same procedure we will do on the other side i have to draw tangents from q again i will draw the perpendicular bisector of oq perpendicular bisector of oq so as from point p we have drawn tangents pt and ps same process will be followed on this side from q i want to draw the tangents so draw the perpendicular bisector of oq let this is the midpoint it is x and with x as center and radius qx draw another circle which intersect the previous circle at point r and point m now join qr and qm in this way we have two pair of tangents from point p pt and ps are tangents from point q qr and qm are tangents and procedure to draw tangents is same now question number 4 this is some different question draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 cm which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 now radius of the circle is 5 and angle between the two tangents is 60 so how to draw it first i have drawn a circle with center o and radius 5 cm and first of all i have to select how much angle to be drawn at the center if the angle outside the circle that is angle between the two tangents is 60 it means for a quadrilateral if this are the two tangents and this angle of inclination is 
and this angle is 90 this is also 90 so at the center I will make an angle of 180 minus 60 that is 120 so same process we have followed here we need that tang tangents are inclined at 60 so at the center we will make an angle of 120 suppose the tangents are inclined at 75 then angle at the center will be 105 now i got point a and b at a and b we will draw the angle of 90 degree to draw the tangents at a i have drawn an angle of 90 and In the same way at B, I will draw an angle of 90. These are the tangents at point A and B. So I have these two tangents, one at point A and another at point B. No doubt when we extend them, they will intersect at a point P and definitely if we measure this angle, it will be 60. So now we review it. First of all, we want to draw the tangents to a circle which are inclined at 60. I have drawn a circle with given center and given radius. This is the radius because tangents are inclined at 60. So at the center, I will make an angle of 120, 180 minus 60 because some of these two angles will be 180. So at O, I have drawn an angle of 120. Now at A and B, we will draw tangents by making an angle of 90. Where the tangents intersect on extending, that is the external point P. And angle APB will be 60. Now question number 5. Draw a line segment AB of length 8 cm. With A as center, draw a circle of radius 4 cm. With B as center, draw another circle of radius 3 cm. Construct tangent to each circle from the center of the other circle. So in this construction, this is a line segment AB of length 8. This is a circle with radius 4 cm. And this is a circle with radius 3 cm. So I will draw tangent on this circle from point B and tangent on this circle from point A. So I will draw perpendicular bisector of AB. Perpendicular bisector of AB will be drawn. Let P is its midpoint. P is the midpoint of AB. Now with P as center and radius AP, we draw a circle that will pass through A and B. Now where this circle intersects the previous circle, let this are point X and Y and this are point L and M. If we join now AL and AM. So, these are AL and AM are tangents to circle with center B from point A. Similarly, BX and BY, BX and BY are the tangents to circle whose center is A from point B. So thank you. This was all about today's lecture. Try the remaining questions of this exercise.